This animation details the slit trench procedure using an excavator mounted vibratory hammer to drive the sheets. It is the final in a series of animations detailing the commonly adopted methods of installing trench sheets or sheet piles in the UK. When the dig and push or pre-drive method is not suitable, slit trenches are a viable alternative and are required in circumstances when the sheets cannot be driven due to hard ground such as clay or obstructions such as old building foundations or rocks. The slit trench method can only be used with self-supporting trenches up to 4 metres deep. Assembly commences by laying the frames on timber skids. Use an excavator to lower each brace component and bolt together end plates. The frame should be pumped out to the required dimensions. Prior to excavating, it is essential that the site, ground type and all available service records have been checked. Dig a slit trench around the specified design up to 4 metres deep, using a narrow excavator bucket no wider than 800 millimetres. Break up the spoil with the excavator bucket into suitably sized pieces. Alternatively, self-compacting pea gravel can be used to backfill the slit trench. In problematic ground such as concrete, an excavator mounted breaker can be used to break this down into manageable pieces, which are then removed by an excavator bucket. Backfill the slit trench with a broken down spoil or self-compacting pea gravel. Remove the excavator bucket and attach the excavator mounted vibrator to the excavator's quick hitch mechanism. Attach the quick release shackle to the sheet and the excavator quick hitch lift point. Then lift the sheet into position. An operative can help position the sheet in place where it is to be driven. Drive the sheets to formation level using the back face of the trench as a guide. An operative should check that the sheets are aligned correctly with the spirit level. If the sheet is not vertically aligned, then extract the sheet and realign until vertical. With an excavator, lower the assembled frame onto timber skids within the trench. Repeat this process for the amount of frames required in the excavation. Stack each frame on top of the next within the trench, divided by timber skids. Ideally, the upper frame should be located at the level indicated by the design. Pump out the top frame to full preload. Attach restraining chains between the upper frame and the top of the sheets every 3 metres around the excavation. Excavate to the required depth of the second frame with the frame dropping as digging commences. Connect the hydraulic hoses to the second frame and pump out to full preload. Repeat this process if further frames are required. Attach restraining chains between frames. Ensure a safe means of access has been provided for this operation. When there is a higher up stand on the sheets, shorter sheets can be provided to install ladder safe and davit safe. Continue to excavate to formation level. Subject to a final inspection, the excavation is now safe to enter.